this. Hoy, I tell you. Don't touch that radio. You call now, chatterbox closed on the air. Not yet. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city. Yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is herd them up, put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Breaking Down the Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You, you want to round people up for using a phone, but you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. Wait, how many people are there in this? Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy. Been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult.
love life is going to stay. Even before my wife's car accident. Then I call new beginnings. Thanks to Fernando, I'm still married. Wednesday afternoon, I meet Barbara at the motel by the door. See? The passion she's back. Phil's marriage is saved. to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your eye. Here you go, Pogo. Have a diamond. You'll guide Pogo to tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy, who fell down the well. Help! Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a fast car. And help Pogo to his final mission, to storm the White House with his friends and become President of the United States. Over the monkeys, the game kids are sure to scare. String puppets, club puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laswell. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's someone who has, and they paid us in stacks of oh. long ropes and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs, but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwave dinners, all the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet? Is your next ideal home improvement a moat? Well, get ready, Liberty City! This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, the witch burnings, and the... Baby. I had it on a combo. What am I gonna do? Hey, 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 hey I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick, I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, let's take a call. You Who's on the line? You're looking regular for Luigi now, huh? What it's about, about time you got a driver we can trust. What are you talking about? Laszlo, clothes. Clothes, Laszlo. I hate them. I just hate them. We were, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is that Liberty City's premier for the station. But why don't you like clothes? I just hate them. They're talking to strict them. I mean, does the line work clothes? And the line is the king of the jungle. So why can't I help a citizen? Well, I mean, I guess the line has two distinct advantages over you. One, I mean, it says you say a king, and therefore it can exercise the royal prerogative and not wear clothes. And two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to. And three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can, but I guess, I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. I take it, Laszlo. I take it. I, you know, I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? Does it offend you? I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? Hey, hello. 
force on your naked body. I, I, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Don't you believe in free speech? Free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drinks. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm naked and I feel so good. Well, what about winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter? When the wind blows, it's really cold. I mean, do you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. And all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the nude? No, but look, is this leading anywhere? Because I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Back and 